Oh my god, is this not the cutest thing? <laughs> Hello friend, I hope you're doing well. The month of April has come to an end, which is not only shocking since it still feels like it was January just a few days ago, but it is also an opportunity to present to you my monthly favorites of April, because why not bring back a 2016 trend, right? So let's get right into some of the things I have been enjoying here in Korea in the month of April. The first group is all related to skincare. Maybe you have noticed in my videos, but I'm not the most skilled person at makeup. So for me, it is especially important to keep my skin healthy so that I have like a healthy, nice canvas to put my makeup on top of if I decide to do makeup. <laughs> And these first couple of products I all got from Yes Style, of course, the biggest online retailer for Asian cosmetics and fashion and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of the products, feel free to check out my links in the description below. First up, we have one of my favorite skincare brands of all times, I feel like, Dear Claire's. And here I have the Supple Preparation Toner, the uh, original one and the unscented one. I always felt that the original one had a very, very nice and kind of calming and soothing smell. But I know that people who have very sensitive skin, which can easily be irritated, they prefer unscented products. Uh, my mom, for example, she always has to go for the unscented version of uh, all kinds of cosmetics. So I also got the unscented version to try out. And what is really cool about these is that they're vegan friendly as well. So they're good for kind of sensitive skin. They're good if you want to have like a very ethical uh, skincare routine. And I especially want to recommend this because this toner has just been so nice to my skin. A lot of other toners I tried would actually leave my skin feeling drier and kind of tight after applying. But this one is so nice, so moisturizing, but not sticky, which is also a thing I kind of hate in a toner. So if you want a light but still nourishing toner, I can definitely recommend the Eclairs toner. The next thing from the Eclairs are two of their sheet masks. I have the Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Mask and the Rich Moist Soothing Tensile Sheet Masks. I just love the long names. The moist one is more for moisturizing, as you might have figured out from the name. So it's really good at, you know, quenching the first of your skin. And the calming one is really nice for when your skin is kind of irritated. Maybe you had a lot of days of wearing makeup or, you know, you got a little bit of a sunburn or anything like that. Uh, then this calming mask is just great at calming your skin down, helping it relax and recover. And last but not least, in the Dear Claire's department, I have the Rich Moist Soothing Cream. And I think this must be like my seventh bottle of this cream already. With 60 milliliters, it is not like the biggest package of skin cream, but it's also pretty affordable price-wise. And I just love this. It feels a little bit thick when you put it on right in the moment, but it just melts away into your skin really nicely and just leaves you feeling hydrated and, and soft and smooth all day long. And this too, of course, is free of dyes, fragrances, and animal-based compounds. So a very ethical skincare. Next up, we have the iUnique Daily Serum Trial Kit. iUnique has a whole range of products, toners, creams, serums. And uh, these are also not all the serums, but just the free serum trial kit. But look at it. It's so pretty. When you open this up, I was just taken away by how cute it looks. What I really liked about these products, first of all, is how diverse they are. So no matter if I feel like, oh, there's some trouble coming on in my skin, I would use the tea tree serum, or if I need some extra moisturizing, I could go for another one. So it's really fit to your needs, your daily needs as they change. And although it's not explicitly stated anywhere, I feel like these are unscented because I really could not detect a smell or just a very faint one. So I feel like these would also be good for kind of sensitive skin, which does not deal well with uh, scents and perfumes. And the reason for this might also be that Ionic is kind of trying to focus on natural ingredients, keeping everything healthy and safe for your skin. And last but not least in skincare is the Yuja Niacin 30 Days Brightening Starter Kit. So this is a starter kit. These are not like full size products. But as you can see, they still look super cute. I don't know what it is with like 
sample sizes or trial sizes, but these small sizes, they just look so freaking cute. What really drew me to this product is the Yuja ingredient. I'm actually not that concerned uh, with the brightening factor, but Yuja is well known for being really good for your skin. The high levels of vitamin are rejuvenating for your skin and of course it's moisturizing as well. So that's why I was really intrigued with these Yuja products. Also, because of their sizes, these products are really great to take with you if you have to stay somewhere else overnight, have a short travel or anything like that. Moving on from skincare to the category of makeup, a very short category because there's only one product that I also got from YesStyle and it is the Apure Water Light Tint. I mentioned this in my YesStyle Glow Up video um, too, but I just love this lip tint. I'm wearing it right now and for the whole month of April, pretty much every time I went out, I put on this lip tint. It goes on very smoothly, it feels very nice and it's just the right amount of pop of color while still looking natural so this might very well be one of my all-time favorite lip products i really wanted to mention it again i love this you can get it from yes style in i think like 10 or 15 different colors but my favorite is the rd03 sapsaram hanjangmi so something something about roses and yeah i just love it Oh, there's actually one more makeup product, but not one that you can get from YesStyle, and it's the Stila Matte and Metal Eyeshadow Palette. I got this as a gift and I was so psyched because, I mean, look at how pretty these colors are. So you have six matte colors and six kind of metally shiny ones. And because I'm all about those cool tone colors, especially in the pink range, I just love these colors. Oh my god, I love them. I have been using them a lot, not today, but still a lot. So yeah, Stila eyeshadow palette, one of my new favorites for sure. ASMR! The last physical product that I want to speak about is here, or rather is here. Ooh, it is my Pandora heart ring! <laughs> For some time now, I have been really into silver accessories. I really like to use rose gold before, but now I'm all about that silver. And when I saw this silver heart ring, because I also really like hearts. Yes, I'm a sophisticated woman. Um, I just knew this was the ring for me. So I bought it and I'm so happy about showing it off. And yeah, I love it. I want to get some more. <laughs> The last category of April favorites is actually not something tangible uh, because I was on a trip to Chonju and it was so nice. We saw the beautiful Chonju Hanuk Mall, the Hanuk village. I got to wear Hamburg and it was just such a beautiful experience. So Chonju is definitely one of the places I would recommend you to visit if you come to Korea. The second place that I visited in the first time in like eight years was Everland, the really, really huge amusement park of Samsung. Uh, Everland in Yongin near Seoul is just such a fun time to be. And I think my favorite part, except for the roller coasters, was this little guy. Oh my God, is this not the cutest thing? <laughs> I don't know why, but in Korean amusement parks, they sell these crazy cool headbands. Like there are so many different shapes and forms and animals and plants. But when I saw this little guy who's flapping his little wings, oh, I just fell in love. So yeah, Evelyn was really fun and getting to buy this headband was definitely the highlight of my day. And last but not least, because it's not very realistic for some of us to go to Chonju or go to Everland or stuff like that, something that you can enjoy in your home is Moonlighter. I have been playing Moonlighter on Steam and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. It's a video game that is kind of a mix of an RPG and a business tycoon game. So you are a shop owner, but to sell stuff in your shop, you have to go into a dungeon and kill monsters to, you know, take their guts and sell them in your shop. It's a pretty cool concept and it has a pretty high addiction factor. Every time I play it, I feel like, okay, just one more day, just one more dungeon, just one more day in my shop. So yeah, it has been great fun. That's something you can enjoy from the safety of your home anytime, anywhere. That's it for my April favorites. It has been a really, really long time since I've done such a video. So I hope you have enjoyed it, even though I'm kind of rusty. But yeah, I'm getting back into it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.